It's kind of a funny story. Um, I've always been an artist. It's always been my passion, and I've been doing it since I was a little girl. Um, and one day in my apartment, I was just playing with my Blackberry. It's kind of when they first came out, and I noticed this function that said upload to Facebook when I was taking photos. So I just took some photos of my art and uploaded them to Facebook, not thinking anything of it. And within a day, I had over 20 orders for paintings. So that's how it started. It was totally by fluke. My thinking was that, you know, maybe I couldn't make a living actually doing what I love to do, but I've ended up becoming one of the lucky ones who is making a living doing what I love to do. So when I started my business, I really thought that my customer would kind of be a first time home buyer. I found that my client isn't necessarily who I thought it was going to be. They are a part of who my client is, but it's literally anyone who needs art and who doesn't want to spend a lot of money. The problem with art though, is that it's not disposable. It's kind of like once your wall space is taken up, even if they really liked me and they really liked their art, they're not just gonna throw it out and buy something new necessarily. The cool thing for me with my business is that essentially every space, whether it's a home, whether it's a business, everyone wants art. You rarely walk into a space and there's completely bare walls. And if there are bare walls, then they're probably screaming for some art. So I learned very early on that marketing is pretty much 50% of my business and that's what's going to separate me from other artists is because a lot of artists are amazing at creating art but maybe they're not so good at the business end and the marketing end of things. I had to become familiar with, I didn't know Twitter so I had to become familiar with it. Um, I was okay at Facebook, made a fan page but just the exposure you get from social media is really incredible. Um, Pretty much everyone is on it, even if I want to get in touch with a celebrity, right? Which I did, you know, these people who have a design show. Uh, I saw that there was original art in the design show, so I posted on their Facebook page, hey, I live in Toronto, I'm an artist, you should put my art on your show. And they said, okay, we'll come see you when we're back in town. So it, it was just like, that was a really easy one. Normally it's not that easy. <laughs> I think there's a few things that have made my business a success. I definitely learned in my old job that charging a lot of money was not the way to make money. Um, so my whole business model was affordable art. So now I'm branching off into prints, so that's even more affordable. Um, and then my original art compared to other artists is very affordable. It's been exciting for me because now I'm getting customers overseas, I'm getting customers internationally. So there's different things with art it's very important that it's packaged properly. Um, so, you know, bubble wrap and cardboard boxes and insurance and all this other stuff that I've had to become familiar with um, when shipping. So it's very important that I have um, proper shipping and that I use the right company. The advice that I'd love to give anyone who wants to start their own business would be to don't do anything for the money, do what you love because I believe if you do what you love, then success will follow.